Hello guys and welcome to our playlist of assembly language programming in 8085 microprocessor. In this video, we are going to discuss about division of two 8-bit numbers. We have already discussed the addition, subtraction and multiplication of two 8-bit numbers. You can get those links in the i button. So we have seen in multiplication that by repetitive addition, we can get the multiplication of two numbers. Similarly, by repetitive subtraction, we can get the result of division of two 8-bit numbers. Let's say we want to divide the number 10 by 2. Okay, so this is what? This is dividend and this 2 is divisor. Right, so how can we divide it using repetitive subtraction? We will subtract from the dividend we will get 8 and as we have subtracted once in quotient we will write 1 and you can assume that this is the remainder so here the remainder is greater than the divisor that means it can again be divided by the divisor so we will again subtract 2 now we will get 0 6 x since we have subtracted it again so the quotient will be now 2 now we will compare if this data is smaller than the divisor or not here it is not so we will again subtract this number we will get 0 4 x and the quotient again need to be implemented to 3 now again 0 4 x is compared with the divisor that is 2 so 4 is again greater than 2 so we can again subtract it we will get 0 2 x and the and the quotient will be implemented to 4. Now 0 2 is again equal to divisor. So it can again be divided once. So we will subtract it by 2 and we will get 0 0 x. And the quotient will be incremented to 5. Right. Now the remainder is 0 0 x and this is smaller than divisor. So it cannot be again divided any further. So here we get quotient as 5 that means 0 5 x and the remainder is 0 0 x. I have written it 10 here but in hexadecimal this is equal to 0 a 0 a divided by 2. So this is the process. Now let's write the assembly language program for this division process. First we will input the data. So lxi h comma c 0 5 0 x. Here I am taking the first data that means the dividend okay so here i'll input 0 a hex here and i am moving it into the register b so b contains 0 a hex and now we need to input the second data so we will execute inx h and take the second data that means the divisor and we will move it in the register c so c contains 0 2 hex now for storing quotient we need to initialize a register with 0 so mvi let's say a register d with 0 0 hex so we will store the quotient in the register d now the dividend will be moved into the accumulator why so that we can perform the subtraction now since we have 0 a hex in the accumulator we need to subtract the divisor from this dividend that means 0 a minus 0 2 we need to perform this okay so we will use sub c instruction that means the content of the register c will be subtracted from accumulator so now c contains what 0 a minus 0 2 hex that means 0 8 hex all right after decrementing what we had done we had increased the quotient that means as we have subtracted it once so the quotient will be incremented to 1 so we will perform i and r d as we are storing the quotient in the register d now after subtraction the result is in the accumulator so we had compared the content of accumulator that means whatever the remainder is with the divisor to know whether it can be further divided or not so 
we will compare the content of accumulator with divisor and that is stored in C. So CMPC that means accumulator will be compared with C. That means 08 hex will be compared with 02 hex. Alright. So what happens while comparison when two data are compared with each other then if accumulator is greater than the second data then the carry flag is zero and the zero flag is also zero while when the content of accumulator that is the first data is smaller than the second data then the carry flag is set to one and the zero flag remains zero but when both the data are equal in that case carry flag will be zero and the zero flag will be one so here while comparing 08 with 02 the first data is greater than the second one so neither a zero or a carry will occur so we will use jnc instruction this is a loop that means if a carry is not generated then we will jump to a specific line number so what does it mean if a carry is not generated that means till when a is greater than c we will repeat this loop and this loop will go to which location to here because see here if this data can further be divided or subtracted then we will subtract that data so we need to move to the location where sub instruction is being written so again it will be subtracted that means now accumulator will be containing 08 minus 02 hex so it will be 06 hex and increment the content of d previously d was 1 now it will be 2 all right again the content of register c will be compared with the accumulator so as 6 is greater than 2 we will again jump from this location to here again this will be subtracted so we will get 0 4 hex and the content of the quotient will be incremented to 3 now again both the data will be compared that means 0 4 will be compared with 0 2 again 0 4 is greater so we will jump to this location and subtract 8 so we will get 0 2 and the quotient will be incremented to 1 again the comparison will take place and again 0 2 is equals to 0 2 so a carry will not be generated here see here a carry is not being generated so again the same process and now the remainder will be 0 0 and the quotient will be incremented to 5 now if we compare them 0 0 is compared with 0 2 so here 0 0 is lesser than 0 2 that means a carry is generated so when a carry is generated this loop will not be executed any further and we will execute the next statements so what are those in the next statements we will have to store the result so as we have the remainder in the accumulator right see here this is a remainder and this is stored in the accumulator already so we will directly store the remainder into some memory location and now it's time to store the quotient part also now the quotient is stored in the register d so we will need to move the quotient into the accumulator and we will store the result so move a comma d and then store it into some memory location okay then halt so in this way division program works if we see the memory location the input that means the dividend is inputted in c050 hex so in c050 hex we are having 0a in c051 hex we are storing the divisor that means 02 hex then in c052 hex we are storing the quotient so 0a divided by 02 we will get 05 hex then in c053 we are having the remainder and in this case the remainder is 0 so i hope you understood this video if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video please subscribe the channel to get notified see you in the next video thank you